Morning folks, it's Tuesday the 18th of August and we're going to read this morning from Psalm 48. How great is the Lord, how deserving of praise, in the city of our God which sits on his holy mountain. It is high and magnificent, the whole earth rejoices to see it. Mount Zion, the holy mountain, is the city of the great king. God himself is in Jerusalem's towers, revealing himself as its defender. The kings of the earth joined forces and advanced against the city. But when they saw it, they were stunned. They were terrified and ran away. They were gripped with terror and writhed in pain like a woman in labour. You destroyed them like the mighty ships of Tarshish, shattered by the powerful east wind. We had heard of the city's glory, but now we have seen it ourselves. The city of the Lord of heaven's armies. It is a city of our gods. He will make it safe forever. O oh God, we meditate on your unfailing love as we worship in your temple. As your power deserves, O oh gods, you will be praised to the ends of the earth. Your strong right hand is filled with victory. Let the people of Mount Zion rejoice. Let all the towns of Judah be glad because of your justice. Go, inspect the city of Jerusalem. Walk around and count the many towers. Take note of the fortified walls. Tour all the citadels that you may describe them to future generations. For this is what God is like. He is our God forever and ever. And he will guide us until we die. Amen. Psalm 48 again is a psalm of praise to God. A psalm of praise to his great glory. And in it, um, the city of Jerusalem is referenced uh, and it's described and it's talked about how strong that city is. And that is where God is. Again, many people would say that this is a reference to heaven, um, a reference to what it will be like that God is there with us um, and that he never leaves us. And again, that final verse he is our God forever and ever, and he will guide us until we die. It's that sense of eternal dwelling with God, eternal fellowship with God always with us. For from the very first verse, how great is the Lord, how deserving of praise. In the city of our God, which sits on his holy mountain. It's all about God. It's a recognition that everything that we do is about God. Um, maybe it's hard for us to sort of to grasp that. Uh, because we we haven't seen Jerusalem in its glory. We didn't see it whenever Israel um, had it and whenever the temple was there and whenever the presence of the Lord was in that temple. Um, from all accounts, an impressive city. Uh, it's a, a, a real sight on a hillside and a, a place where the light shone out from. Uh, a place which you couldn't deny that there was the presence of God. You know, we, we will struggle to, to sort of visualise that for ourselves. But as we think about that, if we think about that in relation to heaven, we think about all the descriptions that we see of heaven, especially in Revelation, about a place of glory and wonder. And why does it have glory? Because God is there. Why does it not need any source of light? Because God is the source of light. And it's just that amazing wonder. So yes, be a psalm that maybe, it, it's a psalm of praise, Maybe a psalm that's hard to get your head round, but a psalm that is all about the glory and the honour of God. Let's pray. Lord, on this Tuesday morning, as we start another day, we thank you that we don't start it alone, but that we start with you. We thank you that you're with us now and always. Lord, for the people of Israel, it was easy for them to see that you were with them. They had the temple with the glory of your presence. Uh, and people could see that. Lord, we don't have that today, but we have all the images of heaven where you are and where your son is, knowing that one day when we trust you, that we will be joined with you there. But Lord, thank you that we have so much more than that temple, so much more than the, the, just being able to see the present, your presence. We have you with us. Father, you have given us your Holy Spirit who dwells in us to help us, to lead us, to guide us, to pull us back into line whenever we stray, to remind us of the promises in your word. 
thank you, Father, that because of Jesus, we have this and so much more that we have you with us. Lord, please do be with us this day and help us now and always. In Christ's name. Amen. Thanks, folks. See you again tomorrow. Take care. God bless. Bye.